Hi friends, you know something interesting is going to happen today? Well, I'll tell you, you're going to hear a new story today. I won't tell you the story. I will make you guess it because if you have already read the story, you can compare both the point of views, mine and yours. What did you learn from the story and how it's how it is similar with how I think. So I will just tell you the gist. So this story is about Mita who walks all the way from her school to home and in her way she finds a magic pair of magic shoes. And then who does she tell first? Does she go to school with it? Are her friends jealous? Do they uh, get the shoes? Does she, Mita share the shoes with her friends? What happens in the end? Well, we'll get to know all about that in this story. Yes, you may also have questions now because when I first read this book, my mind was filled with a lot of questions. But now, let's better get into the story to see what happens. So, yes, as I told, Mita found the magic shoes. But just imagine, if she had no interest in flying, would she even have the interest to go near the shoes, take them and try them on? No, she wouldn't because she doesn't care about flying and she doesn't have interest about flying. So if she tries them on, which means that she has interest in flying and Mita had always dreamt to flying, and one day, returning from school, she finds a pair of shoes with wings. Well, if you found that, how would you feel? You'd feel very really happy because most of us are interested in flying. And I love flying in planes. But if you found a magic shoe, wouldn't you try it on? Yes. So Mita put it on and she flies like a bird. She can see the birds, she can fly high. It's very fun, right? Yes, it is fun to fly high in the sky. And so far, we only have flown in planes. But if there was a magic shoe in real life, it would be really wonderful, won't it? Yes. And then she comes home. But she doesn't come home like that. She flies and flies until she's tired. Which means she's really excited in that. She tells her parents about the magic shoes. Well, they do believe her because they can see the shoes. And of course, she's going to show them off to her friends. So yeah, to, in, next morning, she puts on the shoes and goes to school. Her friends are surprised to see her flying. But... There is always a but or a negative. Let me tell. But her teacher is not happy about the shoes. Yes, one can't roam around the classroom or fly around the classroom while reading. It will divert yourself. You won't have enough concentration. And the teacher is not very happy about that. And soon, Mita's friends grow jealous. Yes, they think... See, only Mita has all these magic shoes. We don't have. Why should we talk to her? She's different. And they stop speaking to her. So, yeah, you can just lose so many friends because of such exciting shoes. So, what she does? Yes. She offers them so that they can also fly. But she has a lot of friends. A magic shoe is so lovely. It's so nice. It's so exciting. If you were with one of your Mita's friends, how would you feel? You want to get that first. Another person will feel, I want to get that first. I, I, I. And you get to start fighting, right? So all her friends start fighting. And then end, yeah, each pulls and pulls and pulls. And the shoes are torn to pieces. Mita starts crying. Yes, if you, I was Mita, 
I would get very angry. I would be half unconsolable. Yes, I suppose you would be like that too. And Mita also starts crying. Everybody will be angry. But you need to get consoled. You have the rest of your life to enjoy. Your friends made a mistake. But in the end, just see what happens after her friends consoled her. She lost so many friends because of the shoes. Because the friends grew jealous. And she couldn't enjoy the shoes. She has, she, her friends didn't speak to her. So she didn't have a lot of company. Now the shoes are gone. There's nothing to worry. Your friends will speak to you again. They won't feel jealous. And now the shoes are gone. She's happy. So what do you learn from the story? Yes. You learn that the friends are more important. Like, for example, your friend breaks your very precious toy. But she did it by a mistake. You have to forgive her. There's no way. I'm not telling it's wrong about feeling angry, but they are more important, so you have to forgive them. And moreover, at the end of the story, we learn that she's happy because the shoes are gone, because the shoes made her lose, lose many friends. Yes, so it's okay to feel excited about something very precious or new. But even if they are gone, you can enjoy other things. I hope you like this story, Mita and her magic shoes. It is written by B.G. Gujarappa and it is very nice. And if you have read this story, yes, it is great. And thanks for watching this video and I will soon tell a new story again of course. So hope you've liked this story very much. I do. I really love this story. So see you next time with another story. Bye.